Hey guys, today I am bringing you my most anticipated book releases of spring 2016. Spring is in the air, spring is here, and I'm excited today to talk to you guys about the books that are coming out in the months March, April, and May. Without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start with March. The first book I have on my list is In Real Life by Jessica Love, and this book came out March 1st. This is about a girl named Hannah and a boy named Nick who form a relationship online. Hannah decides that she's going to surprise Nick, so she goes on a little road trip to meet up with him, but when she gets there and surprises Nick, she realizes that he hasn't been upfront about everything. Ooh, mysterious. This just seems like it's going to be a fun YA contemporary. I've never read a book where there was an online relationship, so I think that that will be a really interesting interesting aspect, and I'm very interested to see how it plays out because it kind of sounds like it's going to be a little bit of a messy situation. And boy oh boy are messy situations fun to read about sometimes. The next book on my list is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, and this book comes out on March 8th. This is the first book in a new trilogy by Cassandra Clare set in the Shadowhunter world. This book takes place in California and it follows two people who are Parabatai, I believe, and that's all I really know about this book so far. I haven't read too deep into the description because I'm still working my way through the Mortal Instruments series though I'm almost done, so I will be able to read Lady Midnight here pretty soon. But I'm afraid that if I read the description, I'll get super spoiled for the series, so I'm kind of staying away from the description. But overall, I'm really excited to read Lady Midnight. The next book on my list is The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And this book comes out on March 8th. This story is about a group of kids who are fighting off this small town culture that kind of is killing their creativity, which is something that I can totally relate to because I live in a pretty small town here in Missouri, and so Sometimes I feel like it just holds me back. So I think that this is a story that I would definitely find myself relating to. I've heard that it's a very complex story, and I'm hoping that this book will just move me in some way. The next book on my list is The First Time She Drowned, and this is by Carrie Kletter, and this book comes out March 15th. This story is about a girl who has spent two and a half years in a mental institution, and she's finally let out of the institution, and so she's kind of having to completely rework her life, and she does so by attending college, making new friends, and attempting to rekindle the relationship with her mother mother, which is a very complicated relationship, considering her mother is the reason she ended up in the mental institution in the first place. This is a debut book, and I've just heard so many incredible things about this book so far. I've heard that the writing style has like this haunting feeling to it, and I'm all about that. Oh yes, I am. The next book on my list is Wink Poppy Midnight, and I have no idea how to pronounce this author's name. I believe it's April Genevieve Tusholke? Possibly, I think that might be right. First off, I've just gotta say that that title is just so much fun. Like, I love that title, it's so great. Wink, Poppy, Midnight, hey, hey. This story follows Wink, who is a mysterious neighbor girl, Poppy, who is a queen bee bully, and Midnight, a boy who has caught the attention of both Poppy and Wink. I know that this book is kind of creepy, and it's kind of got a thriller vibe to it, which is right up my alley, so I can't wait to read this book. That's all I know about this book, but I'm hoping that it's all sorts of mysterious and thrilling. Moving on to April! The first book that I'm super excited about coming out in April is Lady Renegades by Rachel Hawkins, and this book comes out on April 5th. This is the last book in the Rebel Bell trilogy, and I just loved Rebel Bell, but I haven't continued on with the series, so again, I will not be able to read Lady Renegades, but I'm excited to get to Lady Renegades. This trilogy is on my list to finish this year, so I will be getting to this at some point this year, but overall, I'm really excited to read this book at some point. Another book coming out on April 5th that I'm super excited for is When We Collided by Emery Lord. I've never read a book by Emery Lord, but I recently followed her on Twitter because she has so many hilarious tweets, and her tweets just make me want to read her books, and so that's just what I'm gonna do. I decided that I would start with When We Collided because it is going to be a new release, and it just sounds like it's gonna be a great young adult contemporary, and I've really been in the mood for some young adult contemporary lately because I've been reading lots of fantasy and urban fantasy, and I just need something different. I need some real life drama to read about. This story follows Vivi and Jonah, who who are complete opposites, but a relationship forms between the two of them. I mean, come on guys, opposites attract. But what Jonah doesn't know is that Vivi is hiding a secret from him. <gasps> Oh no! The drama, the romance, the feels! I'm excited to read When We Collided by Emery Lord. The next book on my list that I'm just dying to get to my hands on is The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. I'm excited for this book, but at the same time, I'm not caught up with the series, so I won't be able to read The Raven King when it comes out. But I am excited to continue on with the series. I'm interested to see how Maggie Stiefvater kind of ties up this epic series. Now let's talk about the books coming out in May. The first on my list for this month is A Court of Mist and Furry. I'm having
having a hard time spitting that one out for some reason, and this book comes out on May 5th. This is the second book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. Now, I will admit I wasn't the biggest fan of A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I did really enjoy it. I love Sarah J Maas's writing style, and I love her characters, and I am really interested to see where the story goes in the second book, and I'm hoping that I like the second book a lot more than I did the first book. And the last book on my list is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye, and this book comes out on May 17th. This book takes place in Russia, which, hold up, you had me at Russia. I'm excited for this book already. And in this book, we follow two enchanters. In fact, the only two enchanters that exist in Russia. The Tsar needs an enchanter by his side, so he holds an event called the Crown's Game, which is essentially a magical duel. And the enchanter who wins the duel will become the Imperial Enchanter. That's all I know about this book, but I'm so excited. That just sounds so cool to me. A magical duel. I'm so pumped to read about a magical duel. It just sounds so cool. I can't wait to get my hands on this magical sounding book. So those are all the spring 2016 books that I'm just over the moon excited for. You guys should let me know down below some books that you're excited for coming out this spring 2016. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, chew. I, 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 I'm your little butterfly. Break it down, break it down. This is a by Jeff. That's how you say his name. The next book on my list is the first time she ground. She ground? It's drowned, not ground. Blah.